Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to show you what happens when you're testing a brand new release of an operating system, in this case Ubuntu 2204, attempting to see if Gluster will come up on it. One of the reasons why I'm doing this is I want to try to get to 10.1 and I'm curious whether or not I can go all the way up to the next LTS release, even though this isn't even a beta yet. It's completely, it's still in development. But anyway, what happens when things go terribly wrong? That's what we're going to look at today, right after this. I have the machine in question here, and as you can see, it's running... This is one of my last servers that are running Ubuntu. And most of the others I've been converting over to Debian, but these are older XU4 based machines. They they look like this, where they have a tray that you can put a three and a half inch drive in those. And then the XU4 is right here, it's very small, and then it has this large heat sink that you can then use to cool the machine so you don't need any fans for it. But Anyway, uh, so what happened here? So I uh, I wanted actually to go to 21, oh, uh, 2110, <laughs> and I forgot to change the uh, upgrade. So when I set this up to run overnight, I just I just <laughs> set it up and it picked the uh, uh, long term support edition, which apparently is now available for ARM platforms on Odroid. So. <laughs> What happened? Let's take a look at what, what is the problem here. So I'm going to look at the Gluster service. Oops. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I need to tell it status. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I have, it's failed. <laughs> it's, it has failed. However, it did load. It did load, but uh, you can see that it is crashing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this is not good. And it does give me some information about what's going on. Now, I could go contact the developers and I could say, hey, this has got a problem with, uh, with uh, 2204, but they'd probably go, well, that's nice. We haven't gotten that far in our testing yet. So, uh, <laughs> so what do you do? I, so there's a couple of choices you could do here. One, you could restore your entire system for backup and hope for the best that it's all going to come back and you're going to be fine. You could spin off. Now, this requires a burn on an SD card, and then I could rebuild the server. But that gets complicated with Gluster because the each one of the nodes contains its piece of the brick. And so... <laughs> Yeah, that that would get complicated to try to 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 and Gus, and Gluster signs everything, so trying to get all that restored that would take some time. So I'm going to take the easy way out, sorta. Of. So what I'm going to do is I have I have a couple of files here, actually just one. So I'm going to go back over here to the server, and I'm going to put out a preference if I can learn how to type. And I'm gonna copy it over to Fermi and I'll and I'll show you what it is. So if you watch my video on talking about um, how to go about on Peppermint, how to go about getting the latest versions of the browser, you can also use AP this is APT pinning, and you can also use APT pinning to force uh, Ubuntu to load up a specific repository. So, I mean, let's let's just try a couple things that you might think that are obvious. So let's let's go to the eight, uh, update manager, and let's go here and do a sudo on release upgrades. Yeah, I am a flawed human being. I make mistakes a lot. So, yeah, there's my mistake right there. See, it says Prompt LTS, which is the long-term release. Uh, I'm What I really wanted it to be was normal, and I just forgot to do that. So it was late, you know, 
So I'm going to do that now. So what? Uh, right now I'm at I'm at. Uh, as you can see here, I am at on Jammy uh, Jellyfish, which is if I do a cat on the, or a more on Etsy OS, you'll see that it's 2204. So I need to go back to 2110, and how how can we do that? Can can I get away with this? Will this work? So it's looking no. Sorry, can't do it. Because you're I'm at a newer version of the operating system than <laughs> what it wants to use. So all right, so let's copy my preferences file over to the Etsy APT directory. Now the last time I showed you inside the preferences, but you can also have if it's just a single entry, you can just put it out here. So, all right, so this is very similar in construct. So what this says is, I have a declaration for the packages I want. In this case, an asterisk which says, I want them all. I want all the packages. And I'm pinning this release repo to anything that's impish. Impish is the old version, uh, or 2110 in this case. And I'm giving it a priority of 1,001. So if there's anything in there that is still holding on to Jammy, this should get rid of it. But i got to do a couple more things. So the first thing is I do have a PPA that is turned on for Gluster. And we need to get that turned off or we will have a, we'll be in a, well, in my case, I'll be in a world of hurt. And I don't, I don't necessarily, I think <laughs> I've kind of done that already. So I want to clean this up a little bit. The, a lot of these are from previous upgrades, and then the distribution upgrade is the one from last night, where it errantly went all the way up. So, so I need to go into my Gluster here, oh, and uh, fix this. But I need to be sudo, and I need to comment out this line because it's still pointed at Jammy, as you can see. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and roll in the standard repos, and then I'll come back and I'll reset up the PPA and pick up 10.1, So, which is where I'm trying to get to. Now let's just check the rest of these. Okay, that one is commented out, and I think this one should be as well. Yeah, those haven't been used since Focal. So uh, the next thing is uh, I need to edit sources. list and you'll notice that this also has jammy in it as well so i'm doing a uh, multi-line substitution i'm searching for jammy and i'm going to replace it with impish and i'm doing it globally so all everything has been changed now and i should be good to go so i'm i'm going to make sure that i don't have any other services running and I don't, so let's go ahead and do an update, an APT update. Now, of course, because these versions are older, it's not going to say, "Oh, hey, uh, yeah, you've got uh, you got upgrades available." <laughs> no, that's not going to work. And it's done. And just like I said, no packages are suitable for updates. So I'm going to go ahead and do a upgrade. And you'll notice that it says, okay, I've got nine newly installed to do, 511 are gonna be downgraded, and that's gonna take an additional 323 meg of disk, which is kind of weird, but okay. So we'll go ahead and let that go. Now, what you're looking for here is, at once it gets started, it's gonna, so right now it's just up it's downloading the packages, the versions of the packages that are in Impish. And eventually it will start to actually do the install. So you don't want to walk away from this. At least I wouldn't recommend it. And I'll come back when I, at least I have something for you to see. You will notice that as it starts to crank through these, you're going to see warning after warning after warning. And that's because you're downgrading. 
that's fine. We expect that. But if you see fatal, you got a problem. And there you, you're probably going to have to stop, do some debugging. So we don't want to see any fatal. Warning's fine. We'll just let that go through. And then, again, I'm just going to let this go through. It will do a couple of things. If you have modified some of your configuration, say you're unattended, or maybe you've modified, like in my case, the issues files, the login depths, if you've modified those, it's going to give you an opportunity to save off yours or to, or to play, place whoever the package maintainers are. Uh, and you can do some other things like dip the file between the new and the old version that's on the system. But you'll have to answer yes to that or no or whatever it is that you, you want to do. If, it's, if you want to keep what's out there, you would answer no. And if you want to replace it with the package maintainers version, you would say yes. Uh, and then, yeah, so you will you can't walk away from this. <laughs> so sorry about that. Okay, so you have one more thing you need to do here, and that is we need to do a, fu a full a distribution upgrade. Now, you could, I don't, I don't know if I would do a full, I would just do that. And this will pick up the remaining ones. <laughs> so don't reboot your machine until you've done this. Bang. Okay. So we're done, uh, except for I need to reboot. We'll wait for the pings to come back up, and then I'll try to... SSH in, and then we'll check to see if the service is up. And we're, we're at least the host is up and responding to the, the uh, network. Let's see if it actually is. The other thing is to the other the last thing you really want to do here is confirm that your OS release is indicating properly that your system is marked uh, because that is important going forward to make sure that you're getting the right updates. I could then take away my pinning file or I can leave it. Uh, my advice is remove it because you may forget about it. <laughs> so let's check and see if we're okay now. And we are active. So let's go check, uh, do a further check. Let's go into the Gluster Utility. We'll do a pool list. And yeah, uh, localhost, which is Fermi, that's connected now along with the rest of them. So uh, let's do a volume status on rep1 SSD, which is this. It's not. I stopped it last night, so let's let's attempt to start the volume. And then we'll do a status on it again. And it's showing everybody is up, fat, dumb, and happy. So, yep, all good to go. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's one way of recovering from that. So, uh, that's... That's pretty much all I wanted to show you today is that, yes, you can fix dumb mistakes. <laughs> and uh, like I said, I do make a lot of them. And so I have learned over the years some shortcuts, and I wanted to share those with you today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you all again real soon. And as always, bye for now.